Hi there, my name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners, and um, I want to welcome you to our series of podcasts or video casts. And in this particular episode, where we're going to be taking a quick look, hopefully, we'll be able to make it quickly um, at utilizing uh, J Editable, which is a plugin for jQuery, and utilizing it in WordPress. So we're going to be creating a WordPress plugin and I'm going to demonstrate what it does so that from the very beginning you can decide, yeah, this is not for me or this is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's take a look. So here we have a WordPress installation, of course, and you can see that all my title tags here are kind of awesome. Um, so this one is not, right? So what I could do, of course, is go into the edit mode of or actually visit here my post and then click edit from the admin bar or from any links um, and then here I could go ahead and make the change update then go back uh, uh, let's actually do it hit update wait for it it does it then go back to the post and then see that it has changed so that's a little bit um, it, it takes a lot of time and effort and a lot of refreshing going back and forth and really if you're trying to revise the title tags of um, of a lot of posts and of course that's gonna take a long long time so what we, what we want to do is do this in a very fast manner so I can click on it um, what great uh, title hit enter and then that's it. So much faster, I can of course go to different ones and change them as quickly as needed and it's done. So of course, if we go to the home, we should see that of course those have been changed properly. So let's go ahead and, and do it again just for you to see the functionality. So if I click here where it says hello world and I click on top of the hello world, new title hit enter and then it has the new title in fact if I keep refreshing the page you see that definitely it has the new title so that's what we're gonna be doing with the, um, with the combination of the J editable uh, library for jQuery or the plugin for jQuery and creating our own custom module for WordPress and we're gonna be looking at this extremely extremely fast so First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder and in that folder we are going to and uh, set it in our uh, plugins uh, directory. So uh, of course you're going to go to WP content inside of your WordPress installation. Inside of that you're going to have your plugins, um, your plugins folder and inside of that you're gonna create another one with whatever uh, name you want I, I'm calling it here inline changer and there we're going to have well our index.php file which we're gonna go in detail in a second but also a JS folder that contains the library I named it JEdit but of course you can name it whatever you prefer and you can go to let's go here J editable is the name and so you can go to apple s i i n n dot net projects j editable or of course you can go to google and just like type j editable and you you'll arrive here uh, go ahead and download the minified version and uh, as you can see all you have to do is copy this copy it in a js file and then uh, reference it there so now you have it and then we have our index.php so only those two files there and uh, so what we're going to be looking at is how do we do this well the first part of course is defining what our module is going to be doing so all of this right here is really uh, the regular um, key value pairs of defining what the plugin is going to be about so we have Inline changer is the name that I gave it, a plugin URL, description, version, etc. All of those, of course, are uh, 
you know default values things that you should be uh, already familiar with if you have been uh, following our tutorials you should be uh, otherwise uh, you can definitely check them out to learn more about uh, plugin development or extension development for WordPress uh, then what we're going to be doing is uh, creating a MKDS register editable script function uh, and this function what it's going to do is going to register and enqueue the jeditable js in our uh, pages when the uh, wp enqueue scripts hook actually fires so all we do is really grab the url from the file so in uh, this file where is it located with this constant and then it says okay this is the URL and we attach the URL to register the script that we're giving it a name uh, or a handle of jQuery editable uh, and then we of course enqueue the jQuery itself and then enqueue the handle that we have defined here so now we have because of, of calling it with the enqueue scripts we have uh, fired this function as well here um, second part here is the my action JavaScript or jQuery and what it does is that it injects the jQuery code and the CSS styles in the posts as long as it is a single post and as long as it is uh, me the super admin the one calling the function so my action JavaScript of course you can call your function whatever you prefer and as you can see my action JavaScript if we scroll down you can see that my action JavaScript is being called with a hook at time WP underscore head so when this function fires is going to look for this function so we give it this name and so this function is defined here and what it does is it grabs the global post object and from there we're going to retrieve the ID of the post and assign it to a uh, local variable called post ID of course you can not you, you can do it directly but it's just easier to see if we have it now in a local variable post ID 